Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So I've heard from a few of my subscribers and they really swear by this, that applying one of these ceramic spray coatings to the underside of their lawnmower will actually mean the lawnmower runs better, it keeps the lawnmower clean, and it mulches well, right? That sounds like a really good deal. So today we're gonna find out if in fact this stuff will do all those things for you. Now the product we're gonna be testing today is right here. This is a turtle wax uh, spray coating. There'll be a link to this right down below. This sells for about $15. I'm gonna let you know there's a bunch of uh, ceramic coatings and they go all the way upwards of like $100. I figure let's start with this stuff right here because it's 15 bucks. What do we got to lose? Now the test is really simple. I'm gonna treat half the mower with this turtle wax uh, ceramic coating and I'm gonna leave the other half untreated and we're gonna see if it makes a difference. So that sounds like a good test. Let's get going. So step number one, of course, is safety. So if you've got a battery mower, make sure you remove the battery, take out any keys that might be in the mower. If it's a gas mower, you're probably going to want to disconnect the spark plug wire. Remember, you're going to be underneath and you, well, all of us kind of like these things. All right, guys, so let's move on to step two, and that is cleaning the underside of our mower deck. Now, I'm gonna use a pressure washer to make this process a little easier. If you only have water and soap, that should get the same result. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do here today is I'm gonna remove my mower blades just so it makes it easier when I'm working underneath the mower. Now, according to this Turtle Wax ceramic spray, this stuff should work just as well on a metal deck and a plastic deck. It's made for both metal and plastic, so I don't think there should be a difference. All right, it's time to apply the ceramic coating. Now, you can see this side is gonna be ceramic coating and this side's gonna be untreated. The first thing you need to do with this is shake it up, baby. Next, once you've shaken it, is apply the coating. Obviously, we're just gonna keep it to that side of the mower. Next, is rub it in. Get a second cloth. Maybe I can feel something. Let's repeat. All right, guys, so we are ready for test one. This is called the dry ish grass test. I've got half the mower treated with the ceramic spray, the other part is untreated. Let's see what happens. It is time for the reveal. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Drum roll. Um, so, um, so. Well, we just finished test one and the results kind of indicate that there was no difference between the treated side, which is over here, and the untreated side. So we're gonna have to move on to a more challenging test. This'll help. All right, I just finished the test. Let's check out the results. All right. Well, that's pretty conclusive, guys. This side is the treated side. This is the untreated side. Um, I don't know what that tells me other than maybe if you're ceramic coating your mower, you're wasting your time. Maybe. So you guys can see what length I'll go for you. Now all I ask from you is you hit that subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear if you use ceramic coating, if you got a different result than I got. It seems weird that mine was so like definitively useless. Um, anyway, there's links to the products that I use down below. Check them out also. For you guys out there who don't like a video to end on a unhappy ending like this one, there's a video right there that you're gonna wanna go and check out. Trust me, it's not sad like this one. 